Hello, this is Adam Watson, and I'm here today to talk about Edgenuity, and in particular, how to customize and uh, create basically a new course with the template based on and built on uh, existing courses that are in Edgenuity. So once you log into Edgenuity, <clears throat> your interface may look slightly different because I'm an admin, but most of the places I'm going to point to are the same for all teachers. You are going to want to go to Courses and go to Manage Courses. What you're doing here is an interface that isn't uh, any different than probably what you've done before, which is basically looking and finding courses. So as far as um, selecting a course, the deal is you kind of have to go into the customized course process with some base course in mind, even if you use only a single lesson from it or a single activity from it. Um, but starting out with the idea of, of a base of one of the courses. So, again, just for the sake of this example, I'm going to choose this 3D Art 2 Animation Elective class. Once I've chose a course, you notice that this button pops up with more options for me, and the button that we're going to choose here is the button for Customize. So we're going to click on that. It brings us to this dialog box. Do we want to create a new course based on this course or modify the course without uh, creating a copy? Um, here again is a functionality that you may or may not have, uh, but you want to be careful about. Um, the key thing here is, is that you're doing like it sounds. You'd be changing the course permanently in a way that every single person that encounters that particular course in your uh, particular building is going to replicate. And that may not be your intention and probably shouldn't be. We want to make sure to keep the Edge Community courses, the originals as is. But it's this one that you're really going to want to choose, creating a new course based on it. And when we click on it, we get a window, <clears throat> and the one thing it reminds us of, and, and right here as a default keeps us from quote unquote publishing it uh, until we're ready and good to go and the thing is set up, is this warning that says course name must be unique. That is important, um, not least of which, because if you name it something special, then someone might not accidentally choose it thinking it's the 3D Art 2 animation course default that's with Edgenuity and it's something that you've special made. So by clicking on the pencil here, you can change that name and you'll need to before it'll let you uh, finalize. Um, again, as a base class, it starts with, with uh, this particular uh, uh, course. And by clicking on it, we can see all the different components, the projects, and so on. Um, now by default, you have this green check mark, which means all these things are included in this new customized course that you're created. But of course, you can break that down uh, as you like. Um, if you do this, of course, all of them go away. But you could just say, I just want the project one. The rest of these we've done check. And then from here, you could click on it. It would show you specific points, which again, you can further break down. So you can see again, as far as in the tree hierarchy, how you can get very, very specific down to a very specific lesson or part of a lesson that you would want to include or not include. So that's one part of customizing a course. In terms of how do I basically bring in other elements, maybe even outside of this particular course that we're looking at, remember, the key always, and this is a bit of a trick with Edgenuity, you have to start with some kind of base course, even if you're just pulling one single activity out of it. But when you're ready to start going perhaps and pulling work from other courses, it's this Add Lesson button that you want to worry about hitting. And when you click on it, you're going to see this Search Lesson Library. You can click on that. And from here, <clears throat> before you start jumping into trying to find specific lessons, it basically wants to know um, where in the library you want to look, like, for example, English Language Arts. From here, you can look up by specific words and phrases and go on from there. And, and basically, from that point, through a series of clicking, you can find specific parts to pull into this customized course. And for now, I'm going to just exit out of that, but I wanted to at least show you that that was the path. Um, as far as adding another unit uh, fresh, clicking on here, you can create a unit by name and, and again, go from there as far as coming up with something from scratch in terms of adding something specific to your course. You would type the name, you would save it, and continue on. The main thing here, again, is that you have to make sure to change the course name when you finally finalize this course. And then once it's ready to good to go, um, it's inside of your school um, in terms of the rest of the courses, and therefore it can be pulled and used by others. 
The last thing I want to really point out, and again, this whole video is really just to give you a running start as far as where do I begin this process. And most of it's as easy as just from clicking and choosing options from there. I do want to point out that this Learn About Creating a New Course is a great resource. By clicking on it, it's actually a link to a PDF that's on Edgenuity that I've already opened up. So I'm going to flip over here. And this Course Customization Quick Start Guide I think is really phenomenal as far as breaking down several elements of first steps and what to do next. Um, and I particularly like this last one, so I will go ahead and click on this to point it out. For those that are interested in um, adding your own material and information and lessons and activities and so on, this How Do I Create Project or Writing Prompt Activities is probably the closest that Edgenuity does that allows you to do that, to bring in something outside of Edgenuity itself. Um, the directions are pretty straightforward. Um, you can see here that once you get inside of um, a particular uh, lesson going down that specific, then you can add an activity, is what the button will say, choosing whether you want to write a prompt or a project, and then from there it's going to give you options as far as uh, what to create and how to create. So um, this PDF is very, very handy and something that you probably want to download and keep close if you plan to do a lot of customization of courses. For now, as far as just again a running start for you guys as far as doing course customization and ingenuity, I wanted to show you those basics and thank you very much for listening today.